What is up my cancer babies? Mommy cancer is here to read for you today. Yes, I am a cancer son and Mercury. <laughs> Anyways, good to see you cancers. I missed you. If you've never been here before, I'm so glad that you found me and I hope you don't lose me. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button to stay in touch. Um, everybody else, click the little bells and whistles, the fingers, all that good stuff. Be a friendly little YouTuber so I can feed my two babies. Single mom life is hard. Uh, anyway, so we're going to do a little bit of how are they feeling currently. Going to get a little look at what's going on with your person of interest, whoever is on your mind right now. If this reading resonates with you, this will be a short one. There's going to be a free, yes, free extended reading regarding this person that we're talking about right now. It is on my other channel. Make sure you subscribe over there as well. And that link will be in the description box below for you. Also, if you want to book a personal reading, I am running a half off all readings specials, including my November year in advance 2023 spread. All right. So if you guys want to take advantage of that, that is good till the end of November. Email me at the address in the description box below, a southern strega at gmail.com, and I'll let you know how to book one of those. All right. Let's take a look at what's going on with your person. Okay, Cancer Babies, let's go. Ooh, that came out quick. I was going to ask how you would know who they are. Five of Wands, high drama. <laughs> Lots of people involved here. Also, you were one of many. You were one of many people that this person was choosing between. You felt like you were having to get their attention, but I feel like you had more attention than the other ones did. The other was just a bunch of petty shit. There was one main focus. Knight of Cups, you definitely, definitely offered up an offer here. You wanted this to be in a relationship and you thought it was going that way. But Page of Swords in the reverse, somebody lied. Somebody was not honest about that or not honest about what they wanted. That is the kind of person we might be dealing with today for you, Cancer. I know this person. <laughs> I had a baby with this person. <laughs> I love you, Cancers. All right, what's um, what do we need to know the most about Cancer's person right now? The world, the Six of Swords in reverse that they cannot forget about the ending between the two of you. Two of Swords in the reverse, Two of Wands, <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. chariot in the reverse i feel like they took a loss five of swords but they don't want to admit that to themselves you guys might be dealing with an air sign there's a lot of air showing up for this the biggest thing we need to know about them right now chariot in reverse nothing's going forward for them they're not victorious they are not you know charging forward with confidence they are not moving on towards their victory and their spoils or whatever <coughs> the world is here the ending between the two of you when this finalized because it did end all right <coughs> some of y'all this might have ended because of children i mean i read art look at the art there's a mom and a dad holding up this boulder and the kid is sitting on top but it ended the world is over something it's it happened it was over six of swords in reverse though they can't forget about that they can't just move past it there was like either loose ends that weren't tied up or there's been an inability for you guys to probably because if you do have a child to like stop communicating for those of you who don't have a child there's something that keeps y'all connected you could be working together or there's something that won't allow you to completely just move them to completely move past this two of wands they're trying to figure out how to do that they're trying to get advice they're trying to figure out what decision to make seven of pentacles they're running from you big time all right five of swords here they're just trying to get what they want at the moment but they're going to end up losing whatever this war is. The five of swords, all right, in the traditional tarot, it's somebody that's got a sword slung over his back and there's all these other swords behind him and all these people are dead and like he's got a little grin on his face and it's like he's winning that battle, but at the end of the day, he's still going to be that ten of swords with one in him. Like he's not going to end up winning the war. Like, yes, it's instant gratification, but it's like just that. It's instant gratification, usually followed by a painful, bloody tennis swords energy. All right. 
and more mental manipulation with like the seven of swords. They've already got the six here where they're not able to move past this. <sighs> they got the five, they got the six, they got the two. It's like, that's crazy. A lot of air sign energy, like I said. Um, you also have cancer here, your own energy, and you got the world, which I consider Scorpio. They're trying to get away quickly from whatever this is, and they're trying to figure out a way to just cut this all the way off, but they can't. Nothing is working. Like, they're not having any wins right now. Definitely stagnant energy for them. And they're doing it to themselves with that five of swords at the bottom of all of that. That's somebody that's doing it to themselves because they don't want to do what they know they need to do. They don't want to admit whatever the truth of something is. This is why you get in that five of swords energy where you manipulate things in your head to tell you that you should be doing this right now. Because I don't want to do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> you know? All right, what else? How does this person feel about cancer? Emotions. Give me their real feels. How does this person feel about cancer? Six of Cups in the reverse with the Death card and the Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Anything, I feel like something turned. Let me check these real fast, Cancer. Nope. What's at the bottom of this? The Ten of Wands. <laughs> How do they feel about you, feelings-wise? <laughs> uh, well, first of all, Queen of Pentacles, wife. You're a wife. That's wife material in a real, you know, love reading. They felt like you were wife material. They also feel like the death card is here, that it's over, that this is done. They don't like that, all right? Their feelings are hurt. They have a bad memory about the way that this ended between the two of you because they did feel like it could have been a commitment, Ten of Wands, but for whatever reason, that was too much of a burden why did it feel like a damn carnival? Something about y'all trying to get, like, there was a, a departure. These people are standing at a metropolitan station. I feel like they're sitting here, you know, do I stay or do I go? Uh, and there's the six of swords, like, uh, there's the conversation. That they're having, like, at the train station, and then here they are. Is he going to go down the escalator? Is he going to stay with her? Is like, the, you know, what's going on here? Something happened. Somebody, there's somebody, how they feel about you is that you wanted to be a wife or that they viewed you as a wife. That was a really big burden, all right? They wanted to not think about that right now. There's the eight. There's the strength card. They felt something was being forced here or they had to resist something. Somebody was trying to capture somebody. They don't like that it had to end, all right? They did view you as wife material, but something about that, you know, overwhelmed this person. But they did see you that way. They also felt like you were trying really hard to get wifed up or to, you know, get committed. What does this person want to happen between the two of you, um, two of y'all, Cancer? What does this person want to happen between them and cancer? What are they wanting to happen? That's a lot of cards. Death again. Followed by the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Six of Swords in the reverse. With the Three of Wands. At the bottom of everything, what do they want to happen between the two of you? Three of Wands. Movement, all right? To distance themselves. They want the death card. They want it to be over. But they, like, also don't want you to forget about them. Six of Swords in the reverse and the Ten of Wands in the reverse. But they don't want the burden anymore. But they also don't want to, like, let it all the way go. You guys aren't willing to, like, put, like, bury the hatchet or whatever this is. Page of Wands in the reverse. They refuse to come forward and have this conversation. Eight of Wands, even though it's like something's coming to light about that. King of Swords. There's somebody there. Magician in the reverse. Y'all don't trust each other, all right? They don't, y'all don't trust each other. I feel like it's mutual. They want something else to go on here. I feel like you guys have been in whatever this energy is for a long time. 
they either want it you know to be over or to you know something death is about death and rebirth for this cycle to end and a new one to begin whatever cycle y'all have been in it's been the same thing for a very long time with no change they want something to you know be different but at the same time, they also don't, six of swords in reverse, they don't want to just get over something and like move on to a calmer energy with you. Why is that? Weird. What's this person's next move towards cancer? The devil? What the hell? The Ace of Wands, the Devil, the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. Wow. I don't like where this is going. The Queen of Wands was kind of sideways. The Emperor. Ugh, they're trying to take things into their own hand here. They want something to happen and they want something to change here and they want to get out of whatever this broken record cycle is that the two of you have. So they're literally, this is some risky shit though. When you're motivated by nothing but pure fire energy and then you've got the wheel of fortune and the devil under that, that is literally playing with fire. That is literally tempting fate. That is literally making some very reckless and very um, heated choices, all right? That's because Queen of Wands sideways. They can't get what they want. They can't figure out what, which way they want to go. They don't know what it is that they're desiring. Uh, they just know that they just want to run. This energy is person just wanting to run. They want control, the Emperor. Their next move is to try to control the situation. So they're taking up this Ace of Wands and they're like doing something very reckless with the devil in the wheel. They're investing in something that's reckless. They're doing something that's going to feel like a betrayal or like it's going to end badly for them. The Queen of Wands came out sideways, so I can't tell. You know, this person is like not pursuing something that they actually want. They're just pursuing something to pursue for the sake of pursuing because that's how they feel like they can take control. So what's going to happen with that is they go and invest in whatever this is with this Six of Pentacles here. They start putting an effort with something. They start trying to, you know, get, you know, equally from something, but they're they're petitioning the devil for whatever this is. And they're going to get the Three of Swords energy. Look at this. A lot of them are dealing with somebody who's dealing with somebody. Some of y'all side message. They're, if you're with somebody else right now, they do not like that. They don't like that at all. Somebody is getting betrayed, all right? There's definitely betrayal. And it's something to deal with your person and this devil energy and this wheel. They're signing up for... They're writing checks. They're... Ass can't cash is what I just got from that. But they think that they're taking control, but they're really doing something to mess with their karma with the devil in the wheel. When you're the emperor and the wheel of fortune is there, the tendency for the emperor is to want to control things and to want to be the, you know, master of the destiny and to steer the ship. That's fueled by devil energy though, all right? A good emperor would know to at sometimes you have to relinquish control of the wheel. Your person showed up with devil energy fueling that, which means they're going to feed the ego and they're going to try to, you know, steer things the way that they, you know, feel they should be steered instead of just riding the waves. What else do we have here, Cancer? I'm going to ask one more question. What do you see for the future between Cancer and this person? And again, Cancer, if this is resonating, make sure you check out the free extended links in the description box below, or I would love to do a half off love connection reading for you. Take advantage of that special that I'm running until the end of the month. What do you see for the future between Cancer and this person? Queen of Wands. That's a lot of cards, Cancer. It's at the bottom of everything. The Nine of Wands in the reverse. <laughs> Y'all toxic ass gonna get back together.
<laughs> Queen of Wands, future, y'all still want each other. Seven of Cups in the reverse, Two of Cups in the reverse, High Priestess in the reverse, Page of Pentacles, Pied Piper energy. What the hell is this, Cancer? Somebody wants what they want, you know? They're a mess, but they're your hot mess. It's kind of that kind of energy. Like, there's a need for you. Wounded Warrior is, like, the Wounded Warrior is here. Nine of Wands. This is something you should be protecting yourself from. This is something that, you know, hurt you before. Look at this person. There's, I love these cards, all right? <laughs> a lot of you, if you have kids with this person, they're going to not like that y'all got back together. Look at the man and the woman kissing. And now look at this sour-ass person in the back. It looks like a little kid. It could be another party. Somebody's going to get back together with somebody. The future, what I see for you guys, Cancer. There's going to be a reunion of some sort, all right? That is not in somebody's best interest. That's somebody dropping their guard, nine of wands in the reverse. They're not, you know, protecting themselves. They're not defending their territory. They're letting somebody invade their territory. They're, you know, Trojan horsing energy is what I get with that. The eight of pentacles in the reverse, it won't go anywhere, all right, if you let this energy back in. Something about your intuition with this person. Look at this page of pentacles. Whenever this person comes to start speaking to you, it looks like the damn Pied Piper, all right? But also like a beggar energy. They always want something. But your intuition, it lies to you, all right? You think this is the two of cups with the seven of cups in the reverse. There is no other choice here. This is my true love. This is my soulmate. I want this. I want it. I want it. I want it. Some of y'all like the weird emotional shit that goes on between the two of you. Some of y'all also feel like you can change this person. This person knows exactly what to say to you to make you do stupid things. Y'all probably did stupid shit together. All right, Cancer. What can I got for you? If it resonated, make sure you check out that extended. Love you, Cancer babies. Bye.